extravagant. God's love for you and me is extravagant, wild, preposterous, going beyond the bounds of what we deserve. We are nothing but dust, deserving of dust, and yet we stand today under the waterfall of His love, and it rains down, washing away our sin and covering us with unbelievable grace. It's His grace, His unmerited favor that makes us shake our heads in wonder. It makes perfect sense to pour love on those who are good, but shower an enemy with forgiveness? Absurd! Pay the ransom for a criminal? Unbelievable! But while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Christ died for us. Our sin crushed Him. His body broken, laid in a dark, silent tomb. We hung our heads, hopeless, no reason to sing. But God said, let there be light. And there was light, defeating the darkness, overthrowing the grave. Together, we lift our heads and see our risen Savior. Hope springs eternal. And now with hearts overflowing, we sing. Why we are not old
He's alive. God loved us so much that he sent his son to die and to live that we might have life abundant. And as he pours his love into us through the Holy Spirit, our praises cannot help but tumble out of hearts overflowing with his love. And we have not yet seen him with our eyes. Can you imagine the sheer joy of Jesus' disciples seeing him again, alive? Imagine Mary Magdalene standing outside the tomb looking for her Lord. The last she had seen him, his tortured frame hung lifeless on the cross. And now to find that his body has disappeared from the tomb is almost too much. She weeps to the gardener. They have taken away my Lord, and I don't know where they have put him. But the gardener says her name, Mary. She knows that voice, that voice that had once poured love and forgiveness over her, freeing her from the prison of her pain. She turns, looks into his eyes, and instantly she knows he is not the gardener at all. He is Jesus, alive. She falls at his feet in worship. His feet, the same feet on which she had once poured a pound of costly perfume and dried it with her hair. Some said it was a waste, a year's worth of wages, extravagant. But for her Lord who had loved her so extravagantly, it was not a waste, it was worship. At his feet the children gathered round and wander Even raging ocean waves bowed down in peace At his feet the lame would leap, the deaf would hear him Blinded eyes could see Feet, the woman poured out oil in worship Even hungry multitudes were satisfied At his feet the darkness bowed in fear and trembling Dead things came
right here at His feet. There is power for the powerless, healing for the brokenness, found here at His feet, right here at His feet. Mercy for the captive soul, hope that holds and won't let go, found here at His feet. At his feet, you and I find him, our healer, our mercy giver. And it's only when we find him that we truly find ourselves. Loved, forgiven, accepted. No more need to earn his love. No more fight to please. God is the only one who matters. And he is pleased with us. Because of Jesus, he is pleased And so we stand under the covering of our perfect Savior, showered with God's extravagant love, His love from which nothing can ever separate us, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow. No power in the sky above or in the earth below, not even the powers of hell, Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank Thank you, Jesus. Jesus.
We have been forgiven much, and so we love much. Yet, if together, all our love for God could be poured out to fill the oceans wide, it would not equal a drop of the love of God for us. For God's love is wider and deeper, stronger and sweeter than any love we have ever known. His love stirs our souls and reminds us that this world is not the end, that one day we will experience His extravagant love together in glory. And all the saints with one voice will pour out our praise, anointing our King, our victorious King, our reigning King, our, our risen, risen King. King. Shit. 